Now, many of us may remember watching Roots, the iconic American television miniseries based on Alex Haley's 1976 novel. It first aired in 1977 and won several awards for its vivid portrayal of the struggles and horrors linked to America's slave trade past. If you never watched the 1970s original, it's the story of a 15-year-old boy taken from his home in the Gambia and sold into slavery in America. And it, the series takes us through Kunta Kinte's life and struggle as he comes to terms with his new reality and fight for his eventual freedom. Let's take a look in this clip. You must hear your name first. You are Kunta Kinte, son of Omura and Binta Kinte. You must always honor your ancestors, the ones who love you and watch over you. It's time your family pay Kunta. Run! Joining me in the studio is Malachi Kirby, who plays Kirby, sorry, who plays Kunta Kinte in the revamp of the television series. So let's just jump straight in. How does this new miniseries differ from the original? Um, so this new series has a host of new actors, um, very talented people, Derek Luke, um, Anna Paquin, Jonathan Reese Myers, Forrest Whitaker. Um, and Ikanoni Rose, um, there's a lot of new talent. It's a very different picture to the original. Um, I don't know if you saw the 1977, but it's a very, yeah, it's a very old picture. Um, so this is very film-like for TV. Um, and also there is a host of new scholarship. Um, they, we have access to more facts than they did at the time. And so there is a lot more factual information involved. So I was just going to ask you that why do you think people should watch it again? But it seems like factual accuracy might be one of the reasons. Any others? Yes, and... I believe people should watch it again because this is still as relevant today as it was 40 years ago. Um, there is still progress that needs to be made, you know, in the climate that we're living in. Um, I would say that this is more for those people who haven't seen it, but it's just as important to remind those who have. So Kunta Kinte is an iconic character. I mean, people say Kunta Kinte all the time in many different contexts. Mm. How did you prepare to play such a big role? Man, um, how do you prepare for something like this? The journey that he goes on is horrible and epic and it's far beyond anything I've ever experienced. Um, I had to learn Mandinka, the language. I had to learn how to ride a horse, which was interesting. <laughs> um, they had a lot of fun with me. Um, there was a lot of research I needed to do in regards to the culture and how they sat, you know, how they greeted an elder, you know, a lot of things that I'm not used to. But to be honest, the biggest form of preparation for me was prayer. Um, a journey like this is something that I definitely needed God's strength and <laughs> wisdom to take on. Well, that links into my next question, which is just African slavery is such a sensitive topic at the moment. And, you know, while you were going through all of this and preparing for the role, at any part or during any time, you know, how did you deal with this, the... You, the touching nature of the fact that that is part of your own history? Um, I mean, we shot this project in a very real way. I didn't have to imagine much. We built a real ship to the real dimensions of what it would have been in at the time, and we put 200 people into the slavehold, you understand? We were shooting, we were shooting on real plantations in America, and it was the same land that these atrocities happened on. Um, I just had to really just respond in the moment. There wasn't much acting involved, to be honest, on my part. No, it sounds very emotionally charged as well. Yeah, it, it <laughs> definitely was. So the original show had 100 million viewers. 130. Oh, thank you. 130 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, million it's, it's viewers. Incredible. So do you think that this version is going to top that? You know, um, this aired in 1977. You're obviously too young to remember that. Um, <laughs> and... At that time, you had maybe three channels. And when this was airing, if you didn't watch it when it came on the TV, you just missed it. There was no watch it back online or anything like that. So I think that had a very big effect on how much viewers it had. We live in a very different time now. There is the internet, there's social media. Um, people don't watch TV as much. They don't need to. But I would hope 
my hope is that this reaches far more than it did before. Um, I think it's just as important today to be seen. Now, reaching back to the sensitivity of the whole slavery story, um, do you think that it's important that as Africans and as Afro people, we tell this story and not be ashamed of this particular part of our history? Yes, definitely. Um, I mean, first of all, this story roots is not about slavery and it's in the name. This is about our roots, which predate slavery. But also, there is this stigma attached to slavery, especially African slavery, that I don't feel that as African people we have come to peace with yet. And I don't think it's something to be ashamed of. Um, we survived it. We are a strong people that survived slavery and that's nothing to be ashamed of, that's something to be proud of. Well, thank you so much for joining me, uh, Malachi. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank and you. Um, everybody can root as on the 30th of May in the United May, States yes. on the History Channel. And I'm sure we can catch it online and in the UK very soon. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you.